1975 James Caan film Rollerball has proved less than exactly prophetic about a world owned and operated by corporations. For instance, the world of Rollerball had only six multinationals, communications, energy, food, housing, leisure, and transport. We all know there are actually seven. They forgot the Shopping for Crap Corporation. Our third story in the countdown, one of the subsidiaries of Shopping for Crap, Target, is the first to have dived into the cesspool created by the Supreme Court ruling. That's right, eight corporations. Corporations, uh, communi uh, communications, energy, food, housing, leisure, transport, shopping for crap, and the Judges for Sale Corporation. Created in the wake of Citizens United, the group MN Forward has raised over a million dollars from 13 separate corporations. 150,000 came from Target, one of MN Forward's goals on behalf of its corporate donors, electing Republican Tom Emmer, Minnesota's next governor. What its ad does not mention is Emmer's anti-homosexual agenda. In 2007, he sponsored an amendment to Minnesota's constitution that would have outlawed gay marriage and civil unions. The Minnesota Independent reports that on several occasions, Emmer has tried to amend bills so they would discriminate against same-sex partners. Since the disclosure of Target's donation, some Democrats and gay rights activists have called for boycotts. Target's CEO bristles. Target has a history of supporting organizations and candidates, he said, on both sides of the aisle, who seek to advance policies aligned with our business objectives, such as job creation and economic growth. He also pointed to Target's 100% rating from the Human Rights Campaign Corporate Equality Index. But yesterday, it bought a full-page ad in the newspaper of the Minneapolis Star Tribune calling on Best Buy and Target to donate money to groups that support gay-friendly candidates. And then there's gay rights activist Rondi Retan of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, who videotaped her last Target visit, during which she returned some merchandise and cut up her credit card for Target. According to Retan, my youngest son is gay, and I love him more than anything I could ever buy at Target. We're joined now by Christina Bellantoni, senior reporter for TalkingPointsMemo.com. They have been all over this story. Good evening, Christina. Good evening. Welcome back, Keith. Thank you kindly. Uh, the, the Disclose Act which would have forced corporations to be named in political ads that they front, that they pay for, that their money gets laundered into. It failed last week. So how did we find out, if it failed, that uh, Target, to a lesser degree, Best Buy, were giving to this MN Forward group? Well, in part because Minnesota has pretty strict disclosure laws. They're the sort of transparency that Democrats are seeking to put in place with a Disclose Act that uh, the Republicans filibustered last week. The Target CEO came back and called his support of the LGBT community unwavering. Uh, what are we going to believe, uh, his, uh, his, our lying eyes or his company's $150,000 contribution? Well, the, the target line on this is that they support pro-business candidates. And this organization, Minnesota Forward, it got $100,000 in cash from Target, 50000 in in-kind services, you know, other things besides cash. It's not even the biggest contribution to this organization, which is going to promote candidates that will give businesses tax cuts and that will be pro-business. So that's sort of the, the line they're saying is that they're getting dragged down into a social issue because the candidate that they're backing with this very friendly ad that, as you mentioned, doesn't mention any social issues, is anti-gay marriage. Is uh, the backlash here that we're seeing, is this uh, meaningful? Is it having an impact at all on Target or is it just, you know, uh, democracy's last dying gasp? This is a really interesting story. I spent the day with a lot of sources on the ground in Minnesota, and they told me, both sides, Republicans and Democrats, that you've seen a lot of businesses pretty spooked because the progressives and the Democratic, the Democrats in Minnesota are using this as an example of sort of Citizens United gone wrong. They're trying to paint it as a corporation trying to buy the election. And so this is a target, an organization that has very strong national brand name. It's, you know, one of the best known companies in the country, but especially in Minnesota where it's based, it's, it's spooked organizations to maybe back off and not necessarily donate to Minnesota Ford. But I will point out that I learned today that this organization is going to be backing six state lawmakers in the coming week. Mm -hmm. Three of them will be Democrats. Hmm. Um, I, I mentioned that uh, obviously the Disclose Act failed. Is there anything other than state by state uh, uh, acts like what they have in Minnesota, anything coming down the pike that's going to temper corporate spending on elections and avoid the rollerball scenario? Well, this, this bill is still alive in Congress. Um, essentially, Republicans prevented it from moving forward in the Senate. It already passed the House, so there are actually watchdog organizations that are pressuring Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid to bring this up for a vote again and again and again until it happens. But it is an election year, and as we all know, uh, these things don't necessarily pass in an election year. Christina Bellantoni of Talking Points Memo. Great. Thanks for your insight on this one. Thanks, Keith.